Welcome to Ignani.com. Microsoft Excel 2010. Chapter 1. Getting started with Excel 2010. Part J. Shortcut menus, and mini toolbar. In addition to the ribbon, Excel provides many shortcut menus, which you can access by right-clicking on certain areas of Excel. A shortcut menu, is a list of frequently used commands that relate to the right-clicked object. Shortcut menu will not provide you every command that is relevant to the object, but instead, it just displays those commands that are most commonly used. For example, right-click on a scroll bar and a shortcut menu appears with commands related to the scroll bar. You get a different menu when you right click on the quick access toolbar. You can use shortcut menus to access common commands quickly. Notice the commands that are shown now when the right click is on a cell. Let me cut some content from a cell. Now if I click elsewhere. Notice a few new commands are displayed relating to the available options. The commands in the shortcut menu, changes as per the object and the actions it can perform, like paste in this case. Also, notice a small toolbar above the shortcut menu. That is the mini toolbar, which contains commonly used tools from the home tab. While the commands are also available in the tab, it is designed to make it easy to use Excel by reducing the distance the mouse has to travel to access them on the ribbon tab. Like the shortcut menu, the commands on the mini toolbar also changes a little based on the object with which it appears. While it shows the formula, and merchant center commands with the cell. For a chart, it displays a chart elements drop down. On an image, the mini toolbar changes completely, displaying only those commands related to pictures. I would suggest you to start playing around with the mini toolbar, to see the changes in commands as well as how useful it will be in working with Excel. The mini toolbar becomes more useful when a tab other than the home tab is selected by the user. Now when you are working on a formula tab, if you would want to make the font bold, all you need is right click and select bold, instead of going through the hassle of doing it from the home tab. Advanced Concepts, Hiding the Mini Toolbar Since our team feels, that it makes more impact to explain them when we are covering the respective features, advanced concepts are scattered throughout this tutorial. Look out for them, they will come in very handy. However useful some features may be, for some people it becomes a kind of annoying. If one such annoying feature happens to be the mini toolbar for you, then Excel 2010 does not provide any command or an out of the box solution to turn it off. In such circumstances, our advanced section comes in handy. Through VBA code, short for Visual Basic for Applications, you can make the mini toolbar disappear. To write the VBA code, from the Developer tab, select the command Visual Basic, which opens an interface to write VBA code. You should have a basic understanding of Visual Basic language to write VBA code. For now, just try out this code. The name of the procedure can be anything, the important part of this code is the second line. Application.show many floaties, equals true. If you notice the code, you might think that it may be wrong since I am setting the property to true, but it's actually correct. It was a bug that continues from Excel 2007 and Microsoft did not fix it even for Excel 2010, since correcting it may result in a lot of macros using this code to fail. Press the run command from the toolbar or press F5. Now if you get back to Excel and right click, you can see that only the shortcut menu appears. 
the mini toolbar will not show up. To display the mini toolbar, just set the value to false in the VBA code. VBA code is covered in detail later on in this tutorial. In the next video, I will cover the quick access toolbar, and also show you how to customize it. You can find, a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how to videos, and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Post all your questions at our site. We will be happy to help you. We want your learning process to be as interactive as possible. Feel free to contact us.